Hello fellow tributes, this is Catching Fire 3 with some whatchamacallit, um Oh what was it called? Um Majora's Mask. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um Oh it says don't use. Um so yeah, if you want me to make this a series, just uh, comment down below if you want to see more. One, just fixing it. One. Okay. Sorry about uh the loud call uh, the bad quality. It's I'm um, recording this from my camera. Uh I'll review this again just to make sure that you guys can see it. And if you can't, now that I think about it... I should really have turned that on to begin with. Okay, there you go. There you go, now you can see it better. I turned up the brightness, in case you guys didn't know that. That's Epona if you don't already know. I like Epona. When you actually get the rider, it's like really cool. You, you gotta see his face though. Skull Kid's face. Just look up Skull Kid without mask. He, he looks like he has a little duck beak or something. But so far, all, all we know is that those two are bad for now and Skull Kid is bad. And he... He's trying, he steals from people. That's how he got that mask. He stole it from um, a mask seller. Oh, by the way. Yeah. What, he's laughing because he did a note. And now Tyel wants to hold it. But Tattle won't let her or him. I don't know. Link wakes up and yeah. This is where it all starts, pretty much. But I, I literally can't tell which way Tyel and Tattle are, f <laughs> are um looking because of the way the wings are, and how it's just a glowing ball around wings. It's kind of weird. So yeah. I really like this game. I already finished this once, and I'm gonna try to finish it two more times so I can show them and show my friends that I've, or even YouTube. And yeah, I I miss the hero shield from uh this because you get a new shield along the way I'm not gonna say what it is but uh, I, I think the hero sh shield looks better than the new shield that you get the Kukiri sword and it looks pretty cool but the last sword that you get is called the gilded sword which is on this game but you need gold dust for it and before I actually finish finish the game, what I'm actually gonna do is um do all the side quests for these videos, and then I'm actually gonna like I'm gonna progress the game. So I I'll do all the shorter ones before I I may need a guide for it though, just in case I forgot what to do. Oh, what's this? 
That's what he's like, oh, what did I fall on? Oh, bright light, bright light, bright light. I can't see, I'm blind, bright light. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm used to it now. Huh? What? What did you do with Epona? Oh, uh, what's going on? Oh, he's so annoying. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, no, take your scrub, take your scrubs, take your scrubs everywhere. Oh, whoa, take your scrubs everywhere. Oh my god, take your scrubs everywhere. I gotta get out of here. There's no turning back. I gotta leave now. What's that big stomping? What's behind me? Oh shit, I turned back. That's pretty much what he's thinking. And now he's like, oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, I'm a Deku Scrub. I hated these. You know how uh, I like to hate Deku Scrubs? Like, humans hate Deku. Uh, Deku people. They call them Deku Scrubs. There goes Tael and Skullkin. And now I'm stuck with this Navi looking person. I don't know, it doesn't quite look like, it, it looks like Navi, but that, that one's purple, but this one's white, just like Navi, that's why I think it kind of looks like Navi, and Skull Kid's really mean, of course, as you can see, did, did not wait for uh, Tattle at all, like, Tattle says Tael is the brother, and Tattle is the sister, but I can't really tell, because I think they both call each other sis or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, you're still there? Oh, shoot. I always forget to do this. I always forget to turn motion controls off whenever I play a new game. There, now there's no motion controls, which really pissed me off. The stuff back there, I apologize. Apology not accepted. You mean you hate this skull kid too? Apology accepted. The name's Tat. It's T-A-T-L, so I'm not really sure. I have no idea what she means by left sting. <laughs> like, you know, that's... That's kind of what he does, is just a look. That's probably one of the best wall breaks ever in a Legend of Zelda game. I think that's the only wall break in a Legend of Zelda game, actually. Oh no, I'm probably... Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it. So now... This is somebody's son. I know that from lore that people made up, I think. I'm not sure. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of reminds me of this tree. Dark and gloomy. I think I'm the only Deku scrub, the, a Deku person with orange eyes, or yellow eyes, I should say. Ah. <sighs> Imagine this, you're just going upside down, and, and you're just like, that's kind of freaky, though. Oh, yeah, when I first started playing this, it was like, um, this whole game, it was, um, like, when it, sometime when it first came out, and I stopped until 2016, and... Then when I started playing it again, I totally had no idea why that door was there. And then when I started playing this again, I found out, oh, <laughs> that's why. You've met, I, I hate that because he made it up. Oh yeah, that mask uh, at the right of his head, the left of his head when you're looking at him. Uh, is from a shield. 
Uh. Okay, fine. The mirror shield. See, see at the left while you're looking at him. That's from the shield. And then there's a Mario mask, a Ninja Turtles mask, and an Elvis mask. And he had this one had Majora's mask. The mask salesman had the Majora's mask. Yeah, uh, and pretty much the Skull Kid stole it from him. You know. That kind of thing. Well then, I am counting on you. See, there's Elvis. Um, Mario is that one right there. On the top of the bag. Right in the top right hand corner. If you can see that. Is Mario. And then. Ninja Turtle right there. Um. That's just a little easter egg. There's another one in um. Goron Village in the shrine. Near the baby's toys. Where, where the crying baby is, you know, and what was it? It was, um, what was it? It's a Wii Remote. That's only in the 3DS version, though. There's not a lot of changes except for the fact that they changed a few of the quests around, you know, like, what you get from them. Like, one of them you would usually get a heart piece, but you got a bottle instead, or... Uh, you get the magic meter, bef like the, a larger magic meter before you do anything, pretty much. Like, before you get to the fairy that usually gives you it, that fairy will give you something else instead of the magic bar. And, um, you can look this all up, I'm not lying. I was watching the completionist, uh, Gerard, or whatever is uh, yeah, Gerard. He he has a pretty cool channel, uh, the completionist. If you've never heard of him, then I don't think you're a true gamer. Because I mean, you have to you look up something, and you'll you're bound to find that he's done something on it. I I should not say that you're not a true gamer if you don't know him. I mean, there must be a lot of people that don't know about The Completionist. Uh, and if you don't know who he is, just look up The Completionist. Or that one video gamer. So now what I want to do is go back. No, I want to go this way. Why I want to go this way is because I need to f find that one stray fairy. Um, that's in Clock Town. And I didn't know the purpose of that fairy until I started playing a new game again. And boop, boop. There we go. And now, where do we go? We go to the ferry. Because that's the only way we'll ever get, what should we call it? I can't remember. Oh yeah, the code for uh, something else. I'll probably be whispering it instead of talking about the game. The code to get into the bomber's base. Which is a real pain to do, but since I played this again, like the beginning again, I know exactly where they should be hiding. And I skip a lot of dialogue getting that uh, stray fairy first before I go in here. Because now I don't have to wait for them to say anything. Saying, oh, he please, Deku Scrub, hear my plea. 
There is a stray fairy somewhere hidden in Clock Town. I remember watching Majora, like, a Majora's Mask video and finding out that she used to be really ugly. Like, really scarifying. Uh, yeah, I'm recording in a cardboard box as well. If you want to know how I'm d doing that for the 3DS, then... <laughs> then I'll record a video. Of it, but... Somebody's bound to say, man, I hate you. But then, then again, maybe s no one will tell me that they want to know how. So, win-win for me, I mean, you know. And now what we do is pop that balloon. Oh, who did that? That definitely wasn't me. Are you the one that just popped that up there? Not bad for a dick, you scrub. Uh, uh, so they're gonna hide, uh, they're gonna hide, and what I need to do is find them, which will be very easy, if, because if you've never played this game before, there should be someone named Sakon, which is over here, wow, how did I catch the leader, wow, that's I just caught the leader. Well, would you look at that? Now let's go over in here at South Clock Town, which really makes no sense how South Clock Town is way bigger than North Clock Town. That box wasn't there before. Katya! And now let's go. I think there's four, right? There's four places that they could hide, so. At least we know there's only four places where they can hide. Especially in boxes. Ho oh. ho And I've always wondered where cafe is or cafe, whatever, however you say it. For that cafe and Andrew quest. I figured out that was the one that if you see it at the right time, delivers mail right here and then goes back there. Or the one that when you ring the bell, where I caught the second one, I think. You know, the one near the pond and the frog. Which, th I thought the frogs were useless until I figured out Dongero Mask works pretty well with them. Um, but you'll figure out what I mean in a sec. Like, not in a sec, I mean in a few videos, of course. Oh, I went the wrong way again. I know exactly. See? Right up there. Did he just go inside? Don't tell me he went inside. You can't go inside buildings. That's unfair. That would be... That would be unfair. Hoo one left. Which means only one place left to look. And it's definitely not up there. Go with the oh yeah the okay the okay as I like to call it actually first I want to start this I named him Link by the way I didn't feel like giving him a name so I just left him as Link uh, I was gonna name him Lonk but I already have something for that. And I started trying this, I tried to start recording this at some point, at like one point, but it didn't really work for me. Like, poor quality. Hopefully this isn't as poor quality. Yep, there we go. Now all I have to do is remember. Um... So, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, and then they tell you the code. So, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5. 3, 4, 1, 2, 5. 3, 4, 1, 2, 
five. Three, four, one, two, five. I think one two five. All, all I have to remember is one two five. So four one two five. No one two five one two five one two five. Uh three four one two five. There we go. And that's not always the code for all of them. It's randomized. Every time you start a new game, it'll be a different code, which I really hate. Cause I don't have a bomber's notebook yet. I can't wait till I do. But that's when you're just kid link. And I recommend if you're gonna play this and you get to the final boss, Majora, like you finish everything, you get you have to get every mask. Just get every mask. Uh just look up a guide on why you need every mask in the game. Because, uh, uh, you, you'll know when I show you in, in this playthrough. Yes, I, I know what she's going to say anyways, Tattle. Sorry, I'm holding one hand it, with one hand now. Gaze through the telescope. Uh oh, hold on. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, and if you do forget the code, there's something you can do to figure it out again. I will show you that in a second before I end off the video. Because I just want to make this short. Because I don't want to go too long with you guys knowing, oh, I don't want to watch this. So I'm just gonna do a few things. I love how he opens the door. He has to jump up to get the fucking knob. Uh, are called gear. Yeah, I know what gear is. It, okay. Here's the difference. The Majora's, in Majora's Mask for the N64, you usually have to go through all these different screens just to find the gear or whatever. But in this one on the bottom screen, everything is all you it's literally a click away. Because it used to be really hard for people to equip gear as I'm told. And it's a lot better. But I'd rather play the N64 version because I may be only 14, but I like the retro ones better. I like retro games better than new games. Sometimes, because if they bring a retro game to, like, let's say, uh, like a virtual console type thing or emulators, those are pretty cool. No lie. I can deal with any kind of game, really. But my favorites are really, like, old, old games like NES, N64. Uh, Sega Genesis, that kind of thing. Sega Saturn. Sorry if it was crooked a little. It's just how I hold the game. Dang it. Get off me. Oh, I hate how long it takes for him just to get set for this. Private property. Nope. I, uh, uh, he's sold out of his wares, so he's thinking up of clothing, uh, closing up shop, uh, so he can buy a gift for his wife and return it to her, her from his village. What he really wants is these, and there should have been a chest that gave me Deku nuts when I first started playing this, like exactly when I first start playing it. Like, um, right at the beginning that I showed you, like, where he, like, went around, and before the door that I said closes permanently, and I could never figure out why that, that door was there. Oh, yeah, a little thing that I never knew in a second. Um... 
is that uh, on the DS, the 3DS, are uh, the the right trigger or bumper or whatever it's called. Um, if you hold the R, if you hold R on the Nintendo 3DS, it should do this in the game. Like, when you're doing that. That's not what I wanted, but... What I am going to show you after I save real quick. Even if it does have bad quality, I'll probably uh, upload it anyways because I'm not going to record the first video over and over again until it gets the best quality. So now what we do is don't talk to him because he'll just say, if only you were a human, I could give it to you and give you the bomber's notebook. But no. No, you don't talk to him because he says, uh, he doesn't say the code. So, but what these guys don't know, hey, you still hanging around? Wait a minute, you're not lost, are you? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, there was someone, there was someone, no lie. I know this. Okay, so what it is, is if you forgot the passcode, these guys, the blue ones, will tell you exactly what the code is for it. So just don't be surprised if you forgot the code and you try to talk to Jim over here and he tells you diddly squat about the code. Just talk to one of the blue fellas. If you forgot the code. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see more. Subscribe if you're new. And may the odds be ever in your favor. And one more thing. If this does become a series, which I'm probably going to make it a series. Don't be surprised because I've made series of video games that I didn't even think. I didn't even know if people liked it or not. And I will take negative feedback on my stuff. I'm not like one of those wine bags. So yeah. May the odds be ever in your favor. Bye.